Hi there, and welcome to Lesson 6, Text Input. So in Protopy, and probably one of the unique selling points of Protopy, is you can actually get users to type in real text, and you, you can actually get to that text and use it in your prototype. So in this lesson, we're going to look at how you set up a text input, how you get to that text value, and how you can pass that to a label. Okay, so I've got this scene already imported. So I've got this mock dialog box. And this is just the purely the design that I brought in from Figma. And I've got an input field here, which is just represented by this graphic. So I need to swap that out or change that into a real input field. Okay, so in Protopy, you have a text input component just under the text menu here. It's called input. So we're just going to select that. And you get this very bog standard look in text input. Okay, now I could style this to exactly the, the, the style of my input, but for speed, I'm just going to overlay it on top. And I'm just going to resize it roughly to the correct size. And you can see here, I've got a gray border around it and there's some things I want to change. So if I select the input and go over to the properties panel, you'll see we've got a whole bunch of text options. You can do single line, you can do multi-line, you can change all of the styling of your text, alignments and all those sorts of typographical things. Things that are more interesting and some of the things we're going to change is you can change the placeholder text. So currently it just says input dot dot dot. I'm gonna change that to type your name. And you can see now my placeholder text says type your name. The other things you can do is you've got some keyboard options here. So I can change the type of keyboard that I can use from text, URL, email, number, a whole bunch of options there. And I can also um, change the text on the return key when it shows the keyboard. Okay, so that's pretty much set up for what we need to do for the text input. One final thing I want to do is I just want to turn that border off so that it looks like it's part of the text field. Okay, so that's the first bit all set up. So the next thing I want to do is I want to pass the value of the text input. So that's the text that the user types into the text input. I want to pass it to this label down here that's called response. Before I pass it, I want to just turn the opacity of this layer down so we can't see it. And I'm gonna set up some triggers and responses to pass the value to that field, sorry, to that label, and then we're going to show the label. Okay, so the whole thing is gonna be triggered by this whopping great big send button in the middle of the screen. So that's what I'm gonna choose first. I'm going to select that from my layers. I'm gonna come over to my triggers panel and I'm gonna add a tap trigger. Okay, so I've got my tap trigger added. Now I need to add my responses. And the response I want to use is a response called surprisingly or unsurprisingly text. So let's choose that. Okay, so when I choose my text response, the text response is gonna need a little bit of information from me. So the first thing it wants to know is what text layer is it going to be working with? So we want to work with the response layer. This is the layer where we want to send the text to. So we're going to choose the target layer as response. And the, the next thing I need to set up is getting at that special text value inside of the input field. So under content here, I've got this first drop down box which says text. If I select that, there's this curious other option called formula. Now, don't be too scared. Formulas aren't that complicated. Um, they're pretty easy to do, or they're certainly pretty easy to get started with. If you've ever done formulas in Excel, or if you've ever used um, After Effects, there's the ability to put um, what's called expressions in After Effects. These are one-liners, and effectively, formulas in Protopy are the same thing. They're just one-liners. So we're going to choose formula. And that's going to give us this special box underneath with this curious FX icon over on the right-hand side. So I'm going to tap this icon. And it's just gonna expand this little box out. And this is my, my little formulas box where I can write my formulas. I don't need to learn all this stuff off by heart though. Protopy will help me hold my hand and give me access to all of the stuff that I need to construct my formula. 
And this is going to be a pretty simple formula. So what I want to choose is I want to hit this add button. And the first thing Protopie is going to prompt me to is what object do I want to work with? So I want to work with the input. So I'm going to choose input. And you can see as soon as I hover over input, it's effectively filled it in in my formula. So I'm just going to select this. Okay, so that's the first part I need to do. So I'm working with the input. Now I want to access the text inside of the input. So to do that in a formula, I just add a dot. So I'm going to type a dot. Um, that's going to bring up this list of all of the what's called properties. So these are all the things that different layers in Protopie have and that, that we have access to. Sometimes in layers there are special values. So with the input layer, it's got a special text option. So you can see this text option here. So that's going to give us access to that very special variable inside of the input layer. So I'm going to choose text. And that's all I need to do here. So input one dot text, I'm going to click OK. OK, so when I tap on my send button, it's going to pass into the text response layer. That's this invisible layer down here. The value from the input layer, that's this special layer up here, and it's going to input its text value. So that's the text that the user will have typed. OK, so one final thing we have to do is we have to show the text. So we have to make the opacity of the response layer visible. So that's just a simple opacity response. And we're just going to turn that up to 100. Um, and I'm going to set that to a duration of zero so it shows straight away. OK, so let's give that a test. So I'm going to come over to my preview window and I'm going to tap into my input field. Now, just um, something I want to share with you around the preview uh, window. So this keyboard inside preview is a fake keyboard. I can't actually type it. You see it just disappears straight away. If you were loading this prototype onto your phone, then your phone keyboard would work. Because we're working on a computer, we need to use our real keyboard. So you can actually type real text. You just have to type it onto your computer keyboard that's attached to your computer. Okay, so I'm going to type my name, Darren, and I'm going to hit the send button. And voila, as you can see, my text I've typed into my input field has been magically passed into my response label below. And this is how easy it is to work with text. And I think text is a real differentiator and a really powerful feature that you've got within Protopy. You can create any kind of form journeys, you can create logins, all those, all that sort of good stuff you can create inside of Protopy fairly easily. OK, so this wraps up lesson six, which is looking at text input inside of Protopie. See you in the next lesson.